welcome to Finland. Okay, so I've been here in Finland for the past like week and I have not, after making a daily vlog for 26 days straight, I have not picked up a camera once in over a week. This is literally the first time I'm filming anything in over a week and it feels really, really, okay, it felt great to not film anything, but it feels really great to pick up this camera again. I'm also here with my friend, Joel. Yole. What's up? So this is Joel. He's a photographer, Instagrammer, filmmaker now? Well, I have finished my first vlog, but at this point it's not out yet. <laughs> so soon to, soon to be filmmaker. It's <laughs> coming. He's going to show me around Tampere. This is, this is his hometown. This isn't my hometown, but he knows this spot. <laughs> Maiden voyage with an electric scooter, very positive experience. I can't wait to try the boosted rev. This was fun, but I have a feeling the boosted rev is a little bit more fun. How was your first experience? I liked it, but it could go a little faster. <laughs> a little bit more extreme. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got two things going on today. First thing, we're gonna talk about vintage lenses because we are going to, I think it's the biggest like store for vintage cameras and lenses in all of Europe. And it just happens that my friend owns it. Uh, and then the second thing, we're gonna do a meetup. It's gonna be the first ever meetup. I thought it'd be kind of fitting to do it in my motherland, Finland, at a vintage camera lens store. There it is. We're here already? Yep. Wow, that's good timing. Right here. Camera tori. Leading the way. Cameras, film. Yuho! Hi! How's it going, man? Yeah. How's, how, how's, this, how's the store? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this place, guys. All of these things, all of these cabinets are filled with vintage lens cameras everywhere. Cameras, 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 lenses, 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 lenses. So Yuho here, uh, I met him a long time ago. He started this, how long ago did you start this? Nine years ago. Nine years ago. And now you have this like insanely, and this is just the first floor, right? Yeah, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys why vintage lenses are really, really good and you should experiment them. But first, I think I need a tour of this place because I haven't been to this. This is a new location now, so he was gonna show us around a little bit. Plus, he told me that there's now EOS R adapters for like all these different lenses. Show me, show me the, the Leica, Leica oh, little yeah. lens. You can put these little things that little, this little lens, you can fit on EOS R. Yep. I cannot wait to try that out. Okay, give me the tour, Yo, give me the okay. tour. Uh, so this is the showroom, and this is only above 100 euro items. It's basically like a, like a vintage lens and camera museum, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's <laughs> around 5,000 items that are Ooh. listed online. Dang. Like, here's the under 100 euro items. You know what, let's just get to it. First reason you guys should be using vintage lens, lenses is they're just a lot cheaper than uh, like buying the new stuff. Like all of this stuff is totally usable, but it's much cheaper. Under 100 euros, all of this stuff. Yeah, and for example, this is a 51.7. 1.7? Yes, then there's the adapters that you use for them. There's micro four thirds and then there's uh, Sony mount and then there's the Leica. So uh, you use these adapters just like I'm using an EF adapter on this camera to put basically all of these old cool lenses onto any camera. Uh, then this is our kiosk. I mean we're mainly about analog photography, uh, film cameras. Don't judge. Don't judge me, Juha. I'm, I'm not judging. I mean, like, <laughs> we have to do video with something yeah. and doing a, you know, it's, video with a physical... It's not the lens. most ideal for vlogging, you know? Yes, yeah, it's not <laughs> the fastest. There's more. Upstairs we go. All right, next space over here. So this is actually the working rooms. That's a Finnish worker right there. Here's our testing room. This is where you make sure things work. Yeah, we test everything with uh, machinery. Right, you don't want to person. sell something that doesn't actually work. Yeah, I mean, we have plenty of that, <laughs> that too. Anybody need a camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those ones don't work. This is just spare parts. 
cameras that have deemed to be only good for spare parts. Oh, sad. Very sad. This is the camera graveyard over here, guys. For example here, this is Canon F1. This is the, the ultimate Canon film camera that was available in the 80s. And we have a box full of them. <laughs> so, just a graveyard of cameras. Yeah. And you I just mean, use them for spare parts if you need uh, them? I mean, we're obviously fixing them, but okay. we have a queue of over 1,000 cameras to fix. So Ooh, it's, busy man. Yeah. Can't save all the cameras of the world, but Yuho is doing his best. Look at this, guys. I don't even want to go close to mess up their workstations, but... This is already stressing me out. If I had to open up a lens or a camera... No. So the secret is our bag graveyard. <laughs> I thought I had a problem with bags. Yuho, you have a problem with... He's literally hid them behind this massive sign. This looks great. You look behind and it's a bag warehouse. But do people just like reach out to you and they're like, hey, I have an old camera. Like, do you want to... How much would you pay for it? And then you yeah. buy them like that? Yeah, that's, that's the actual... Like, that's camera rescue. Like, the biggest batch we bought is 4,000 cameras in one go. Somebody owned 4,000 cameras and you bought them all? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, right now I am filming on a 25mm f4 Voigtlander lens and uh, Show them, show them how small this thing is. This thing is like tiny. It looks insane on this ESR right now. The magic of uh, vintage lenses right here. Uh, you know how much does this lens cost that I'm, that I'm using I right now? I think that's around 300. That's 300. Whoa, there goes my first point. Why is this one so, mo so much more expensive than the other ones? The uh, special. You can put it on a Leica camera. So like Leica means money. But this little lens here, this is a 20, 8 mil, I think was it? 20, 28, yep. 28 mil f2.8, and this only costs 50 euros. And that is a lot cheaper than other f2.8 lenses if you're getting a new one. A lot cheaper. I'm gonna pop this on with this adapter and we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Now we're filming on this 28 mil f2.8. It looks great, like really nice. You can actually, how much, how much was the set? 200 for a, a 28 mil, a, 50 mil and uh, 135 all f2.8. 50 mil is a 1.8 for 200 euros. You can get that three set with adapter everything. I feel like you can't get any really lenses, new lenses for that price. So that is the first reason why we like vintage lenses. Joel, how do you like my new old lens? It looks good on you. Thanks. Okay, so first point, Vintage lenses can be very cheap, but they can also be very, very expensive. For example, this one, it's a Canon 72 mil. My bad, I, I was reading the, the filter size thread. It's a 50 mil. F 0.95 costs about 4,000 euros. That is not cheap. But that leads us to point number two, is the looks you can get. You can get some really cool looks. It's called the dream lens. It has kind of like a dreamy, almost like a, you know in the 80s, they used to have a lot of that like, very soft looking uh, vibe, that's this lens. So all of these different lenses have a little bit of a different look, whereas I feel like the, the lenses that we have nowadays, like these modern lenses, they all kinda look the same. There aren't that many differences. They all look pretty perfect. Uh, whereas these lenses do not look perfect. They all have these kind of different characteristics. So you can get some really cool looks just using different lenses. And because these lenses make the footage look unique, it makes you look unique if you have these vintage lenses because everybody has the modern new lenses, but not everybody has a 50 mil dream Canon lens. Uh, it's a totally different look in F, F0.95. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get some pretty cool looks. So your style can be really, really unique using just some uh, vintage lenses. Now the downside is, is that because they're old lenses, they're vintage lenses, there's no autofocus. You can't autofocus. You have to learn how to manual focus, which is a thing that you should be able to do if you don't know how to manual focus right now. You should probably pick up a, a manual focus lens or even just one of your new lenses, 
take off autofocus for a second and learn how to focus. It's super important as a filmmaker to be able to use a manual focus. Another downside is that you can't just go to your local store and buy the Canon 50 mil dream lens. You have to go to a specialty store like this one. We just happen to be in the biggest one in Europe. Uh, so you're not gonna be able to get these everywhere, but there is a lot online. Even Yuho here sells online. So if you wanna go check out his store online, can you buy this lens right now? You can buy this lens right now. Another bonus of vintage lenses is that you can get some really, really small lenses, which is always a bonus. Joel, uh, take, a, take a clip comparison of this lens versus the lens that I'm, I'm filming on. Look at that difference. Like, this is like 20 times smaller, I think, than the lens I'm filming on, which is just ridiculous. Also, these, like, this lens is probably the coolest looking lens ever. So if you just wanna look cool with a camera, I highly recommend getting some vintage lenses. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits to trying out vintage lenses and I highly recommend it. Maybe start out with some of the cheaper ones, maybe don't get the 4,000 euro one right away, uh, but try out some vintage lenses. Even like the, the Helios 442 58 mil, I think, F2.8. That one's a really cool, interesting, unique lens that, that nobody else without that lens can get that look. You can't get that in post. You can't make that happen without that lens. So yeah, try out some vintage lenses. Uh, are we supposed to do like a meetup soon, right? I think. I believe so. <laughs> Guys, this is a giveaway winner right here. Valtteri won the, the Fujifilm X-T30 and he's here at the meetup now. That's awesome. <laughs> so good. Full circle. Full circle. The meetup is going well. There's people. They showed up. It's not just me here by myself. Yeah, baby. Thanks, guys, for showing up. Really appreciate it. It would have been really boring to have a meetup with just me and Joel. <laughs>
Not, not you, not you, not, not them. <laughs> Apparently, these are waterproof also. Not only are they made out of coffee, but they're water waterproof. Okay, hold on. You ready? Okay, let's see. If my, if my sock gets wet, I'm not going to be happy, so <laughs> there's, there's a lot of pressure here. It's wet. It didn't work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you guys? <laughs> so, um, can I keep these? Keep not these ones? Oh, not man. I got to go back to yeah, my non-coffee <laughs> shoes now. How can these, I live life? not good enough. <laughs> Someday, please send some over and I will try to plug them even yeah. better, better than this because these are sick. Not only are they made out of coffee and they're waterproof, but they look really nice. Good job, guys. Joel, I got yeah. my first film camera. No way. Can I take a, my very first photo of you? You can. This time. Okay, just this time. Just this first time. I feel so I good. I feel so privileged to be in your very first film photo. Very first ever photo taken on film. All right, we just finished having some uh, delicious wings at Hook. If you're ever in Finland, you want some wings, I recommend Hook. Now we're on a mission to get some ice cream. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Boys, oh, motorcycle. we're gonna get some ice cream? Oh yeah. Kai, ice cream? Are we getting some ice cream? <laughs> Boys trip to get some ice cream. For those of you who don't know, this is uh, salt and licorice ice cream. Delicious. So I was just driving this thing and flying the drone one-handed and Joel was like, wait, you were doing that? How do you even do that? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a vlogger's life right there, Joel. Yep. Go, let's continue this ride. Okay. Good times in Tampere. This may or may not be a mistake. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Is this what these are meant for? You're a natural oh. scooter again. <laughs> Time to sleep. I think it's going a little bit of overboard. Let's just end this. Vlog end. Joel, you think we can leave these on this bridge? Why not? They look pretty good here. <laughs> this, is, this is a perfect spot. Somebody's walking by the bridge and they need a scooter. Yeah. Why not leave it here, right? Hey, thanks man for helping out. Dude. Have a good trip back, back home to Norway land. Thank you. And I would like to come visit again. You're always welcome. Okay. Back to Norway tomorrow. It's been a good day. Have a good one. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> if you haven't, you should go follow Joel on Instagram and also wait for his first vlog. It's your first vlog, right? It's coming out soon. It's coming first out in a couple days. A couple days. So probably by the time this is out, his first vlog will be out. So go and watch it. See you guys.